You can tell how strongly the wind is blowing by feeling it blowing on your face. But you can also make a little machine that allows you to see how strongly the wind is blowing without even going outside. Here's what you'll need. Four plastic cups, disposable cups, and four plastic drinking straws. And also three little beads, plastic or wooden beads, a disc of plastic cut from the bottom of another drinking cup, and a long straight nail, and a stapler. And the first thing you do is to take each of the plastic drinking cups and cut small holes near the rim. Now the hole, each hole, should be about the same diameter as one of the drinking straws. There's one of the holes near the rim, and then you cut a second hole exactly opposite the first one. So turn the cup over, line it up, and in that position there, cut a second hole. Now these cups are going to be used to actually catch the wind and cause the whole machine to spin around. Now take two of the drinking straws, let's say the yellow ones, and jam one inside the other. You may need to press the end together on one, force it into the other one, and then push them together so that they overlap by about three centimetres. There we are, makes a very long, straight straw. Take one of the ends and push it through one of the holes that you've made, across the opening of the cup and through the other side, and then bend over about the last two centimetres. There we are. Take the stapler and carefully place it in this position so that you can trap the straw and the rim of the cup and hold them firmly in position. There we are, with just one staple. Then you do the same thing on the other end with another cup. But this time, make sure that the cup points in the opposite direction. There we are. So there's a cup at each end of that long double drinking straw. That's the yellow one. Do the same thing with the green. Don't have to be different colours. But you'll end up with four cups attached to drinking straws. And then you staple those to the little plastic disc which you cut from the bottom of a fifth cup. And you get a contraption that looks like that. Take the nail and carefully work it through the very centre of that disc. So it goes down through both drinking straws and the disc. You notice that the disc is stapled in place to the drinking straws with four more staples. Wiggle the nail around until you have a nice loose fit and the whole thing spins freely. And then turn it upside down. Take those three plastic beads. Actually two will do, but three works better. And Place one, two, three in those positions. Then find a fence post in the backyard, turn the whole thing back the right way, and with a hammer, nail it in position, like so. Now, if there's any wind at all, perhaps the wind will catch in the cups, and it should catch in the open cup rather than the closed one with a narrow bottom on that side, and maybe it'll push around the circle part way, and then the next one will here comes some wind, and look at that, it actually works. It'll spin around at that speed, with the wind blowing at this speed. You can see that the wind in this case comes from a fan that we have just off camera. If the wind grows stronger, let's see what happens to the rate of turning. Switch it up to a higher speed, and I think you can see already that it's spinning at a higher speed. If I turn it up to the maximum speed, the whole thing spins around very rapidly indeed. So from inside the house, you can look through the window at that little gadget on the back fence and you can get a rough idea how rapidly the wind is blowing. Well, that's the four cup version. You can also make a two cup version with just two drinking cups and one straw. Once again, a nail or a strong pin and some plastic beads. This one may not work as well with light winds, but it works perfectly well with strong winds. Watch this. These devices are called, by the Weather Bureau specialists, anemometers. Anemometer simply means a device for measuring the speed of the wind. Yours may last two or three months, if you're lucky, on the back fence. The real ones last for years and years, and they're made with special metals, they're finely balanced, and they give the meteorologist a very accurate indication of how rapidly the wind is blowing.